Well, hello everybody, it's your favorite YouTuber on the internet, the Nixter27. Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Kaiser Redux. Now you may be asking, Nick, what country are you gonna play as? Well, if you look up here, dumbass, we're playing as Georgia. Uh, I'm just kidding though with you guys. Uh, please don't take that seriously. But yeah, anyways, we're playing as the state of Georgia. Today we are gonna be making the Workers United Nation or whatever the fuck it is under Joseph Stalin. Or I guess how whatever they call them, it's uh right down here. Or is it? No, it's not. Fuck, I'm stupid. Right down here, uh, under Yosib Jugasvili. I guess that's like his real name. But yeah, so apparently got some interesting stuff coming ahead of us. So I'm gonna get everything set up and we'll begin. So right now we can't do anything politically, but we can start going down our army branch. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. So as of right now, the totalist charter is happening. And as you can see right here, Jugasvili is with them. Let's hope he doesn't plan to overthrow the government or anything like that. And already Black Monday has hit our nation, which is not good. But it does mean we should be able to start going down our Black Monday focus tree and reviving whatever economy we did have. Which, as you can tell, it's not really that much to begin with. And now we got the Army's annual budget. We're just going to go ahead and go for a more offensive approach. As much as the defensive bonus and all that's good, I am looking to conquer more land outside of our territories. So this will probably be the best way to go. Alright, so we got food prices skyrocketing. As to get Joseph Stalin or Jugasvili, we're going to have to just not change the market whatsoever. The people must starve. And, oh no, we got the Tiflis protest. That's not good. And now we got the Treaty of Poti. And we're just going to go ahead and go for the latter option. We cannot alienate the Germans, bail out the company, as this is just going to make our people even more mad at us. And we're going to go ahead and just go for standby Germany, even though that's not going to be happening for long. <laughs> Mass food riots? Oh no. It's like the people need food or something. Pressure grows on get Corey to call new elections. I'm sorry if I butchered that name, but fuck man, I don't know how to speak Georgian. And then we got the option to import food. We're just going to go ahead and say, this is too risky. We, we can't do this. Because why should we import food? It's so stupid. Our people should starve, right? And we got the protest end finally, so that's somewhat nice, I guess. Alright, so we got Prince Joachim announced his support for the EDP. Wait a minute. EDP? I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. Oh no, we, we can't allow this in our country. Oh, uh, so we got the food riots provoke Bolshevik rev or Bolshevik revolt. And we're just going to go ahead and go for the SKP manages the seize power. And we leave Mittel Europa. And we got ourselves a nice fancy pinkish color. Yeah, I don't know why they gave us this color. It's, it's alright, I guess. But I will say our flag looks pretty cool. And we got the man, the myth, the legend. Yosib, or Koba Yugasvili. I guess that's how you actually pronounce his name. But I don't know where they got the Koba from. So we can finally start going down our political path and add Georgian socialism. Alright, so it looks like our friends in Poland have gone totalist. I don't know if that's going to last. Uh, I'm assuming the German Empire might invade them, but they were going to invade them. They probably would have done it by now, so who knows? Maybe we'll have a friend in Eastern Europe. Also, we got the autonomy question for South Ossetia. Uh, that's not very good, but from my understanding, there's no way we can prevent them from getting some sort of autonomy. Because if we just say no, they're going to revolt. And taking South Obsidia or Abkhazia fucking sucks. Because as you can tell, there's only like one tie or two, and it's not easy getting around them. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried it multiple times. There's a reason why I know this. <laughs> Alright, so we got the People's Council of Sokumi endorses South Ossetian autonomy. Um... We're going to have to accept it because I don't think there's any way of just saying no, but I don't think there's any downsides to it, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, wow. So we got the Orthodox Church of Georgia. It's a very, very nice portrait right there. 
Uh, we got the church is an integral part of the Georgian culture or the church spreads division and false worship. We should put an end to these oppressors. I don't like that stability hit. Uh, so we're just going to go with this one as it's probably going to help us out. I really don't think there's any other benefits or downsides to each of these. This is all it gives you. So I don't know why you would choose this one. It's pretty bad. So, so we got the People's Guard of Georgia. It looks like old Yosef Jugasvili is getting a promotion and a bunch of other guys are... Uh, looks like stops being a general. I guess that we're getting a purge going on right now. I have no idea. So might as well go ahead and switch this up a little bit. Hells yeah. And we'll just put... Uh, yeah, sure you. Why not? <laughs> Alright, so my army isn't up to total standards as I'd like it to be. But I don't want to wait any longer because these guys might end up joining a faction. Or just getting stronger than us. And I can't allow to wait any longer. So... We're going to just go ahead and demand some territory from them. And we'll see what happens. They're probably going to say no. Alrighty, so Azerbaijan has refused. I'm just going to go ahead and save real quick because I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, yeah, so this means war. We are now at war with the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. All right, so Azerbaijan has a proposed peace, but I am not going to accept, or I guess I demanded them, and they reject, so, so no, we're going to push for the Baku brothers. Okay, so, uh, shit, I, got, I did not know about this, I genuinely did not know about this, so, looks like shit's getting crazy, apparently, uh, Old Joseph went hunting and a bear has struck him. I don't know what's exactly. It looks like our party's going to change. Politics will change. SBP becomes a ruling party. Public elections will not be held. Gains chairman of steel. Okay, so it looks like he survives, I guess. He just gains that. Okay, I, I did not know about that. For a second there, I was like, oh shit, is Stalin about to die? Because I did not. I genuinely didn't know that. All right, so the Ottomans are finally under siege in the Middle East, which is great because. Azerbaijan is just about to capitulate. I'm hoping to be able to take this from them and hopefully a few other territories as well. All right, finally, they have capitulated. I should have done that a lot sooner, but I just wasn't that good. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything from them and line up our men. around Armenia. All right, so the Ottomans hold in Batum. It's not good. So we are gonna have to declare war on them here soon, but I'm hoping to take Armenia first before we do that. Okay, so that was pretty easy. All right, so now the real offensive begins, which we're gonna try to go ahead and go into the Ottomans here soon. Which, now we can finally take the option and form Transcaucasia. Chairman Jugasvili declares a Transca Transcaucasian state. And we get a pretty cool flag, I have to admit. So that's pretty nice. I don't think we get any more focuses, which sucks. I, re Kaiser Redux does, if you see this, please add like an end focus here, because that'd be great. Like, add some more shit, because this desperately needs it. But no, it's fine, it's fine. Looks like it gives us some pretty good benefits. Uh, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for isolation, because we don't have any of our allies, like Mo Mosley or the other totalists in power, so we're just going to be our own totalist nation by ourselves. And now, I think it is time to go ahead and declare war on the Ottomans. So we got a nice little encirclement up here in the north. Every man counts, so hopefully we can start getting some more of those. We are starting to close in on the Ottomans. I wish the Egyptians were doing better, but the Ottomans are actually pushing them back, which, of course, out of all the games I play, the Ottomans are actually efficient. 
Because usually they get fucked every single time. Once again, another nice little encirclement. And the Second World Krieg has now begun. The Commune of France has declared war on the German Empire. I'm assuming the Russians are going to go in soon. Currently, we have done the most damage, or caused the most casualties against the Ottomans, which I'm very surprised. Like, Egypt's only done 23,000. Like, every single game, Egypt always ends up on top. Like, they do, like, thousands of casualties on the Ottomans. But the game, I'm with them, fighting against, fighting with them, they're, like, the worst fucking nation. It's fucking bullshit, man. Also, I love the fact that we still have no resources whatsoever. All we have is oil, which I don't even know if we get... Like, no one's trading for our oil right now, so... We're literally fucked right now. We have no no steel. I'm having to trade to get steel from the Ukrainians, which I didn't want to get steel from them, but I have, like, no other choice. All right, I'm going to take a desperate move here, and I'm just going to go straight for Constantinople. Hopefully, all right, yeah, it was too good to be true that they had it straight open, but they do only have one troop here, so we might be okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious. They're, why are they with why are they with the co-prosperity sphere? There's no relationship between these two whatsoever. None. <laughs> you could have joined the Third International, but no, you joined you joined Japan over here, so that's funny. Ah, yes. Look at all these Ottomans stuck in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. There's probably at least a good... There's really not that many troops in here, but the fact that Persia has not been able to deal with these fuckers just baffles me. Same with the Egyptians. Like, how is how are the Ottomans still holding Jerusalem? It's crazy, man. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. What the fuck? So now they now they go for a peace deal when I was literally like a mile away from Constantinople. Gosh, dude, that's what happens when you have to do all the fucking work, which Jabal Shamar is still there. So that's kind of crazy. And I don't know. Yeah, we lost our war goal against them, but we'll get it back because we are going to be going to war with the Ottomans here pretty dang soon because literally I integrated this. This is going to be this is like a core how did I not get this? That's so fucking stupid. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We're just going to keep building up our fucking navy and shit. And hopefully go back toward the Ottomans here soon. Because they will get stronger again. Because they already have like how many troops here? Yeah, it's not looking too good. Oh, okay. Sorry. It was my fault. We have a command economy. So we don't have... We cannot trade anything. So... Sorry, that, that was my fault. That's why we have so much fucking oil. <laughs> Alright, so for some reason Egypt has embargoed us, so fuck you guys. I did most of the work. The only reason you have this shit down here is because of me. Even so- Why has everyone been embargoing me? Even socialist Iran embargoes me. What the fuck? I have like no one to trade- Literally like everyone is embargoing me. I only have like one- the only good trade partner I have right now is Ukraine, and at some point they're probably going to embargo me. Ooh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Guys, this might not be the best idea. They're with the all... I mean, to be fair, the Austrians are on the verge of collapse, so I think I should be okay still fighting the Ottomans. The only scary part is two Sicilies is also with them, and they're probably... They're not the strongest, but they're definitely enough to probably kick our asses a little bit. So let's pray Serbia and Romania are able to kick some ass over here because else we are fucked. All right, so our justification has been completed. I'm going to go ahead and save because I don't know how the fuck this is going to go. And right now it looks like Serbia is starting to pitch you a little bit. It's a little scary. I didn't think I'd be allies with them, but fuck, dude. And... Fuck, we have a truce with them. Damn it. Oh, when the when the fuck does this truce end? Damn it. When the fuck does this end? Holy fucking shit, dude. It's till 1941. Mid-1941. That's like a year and a half from now. Fucking damn it, dude. Oh my gosh. Well. 
We could just play the waiting game, I guess. I guess we weren't really ready for war with them anyways, but I don't think Serbia and Romania are going to last, so they're probably just going to end up even stronger, so that's a little scary. I'm hoping Moscow invades the Reich's pack here soon. We could just go ahead and justify on Iran, because I'm pretty sure we can get cores on them, since majority of Azerbaijans live here, so... New change of plan, everyone. We're going out east towards these guys. See, this is what you get for fucking embargoing me, you son of a bitch. Alright, so it looks like justification is complete. Ooh, I don't know about this one. I gotta... The thing is, I have no intelligence on them, but at least 19 to 37, so... We should definitely have 100% more troops than them, so... I'm gonna go ahead and save, because I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. I'm gonna let these guys entrench here, and... Fuck, we don't have any supplies. We need to fucking bridge this gap here. There we go. I just pray the International will do good, but looking at it right now, they're not doing too well. <laughs> oh, jeez. Russia still hasn't invaded, but I'm thinking that's because they're still at war with Mongolia, so it's fucking great. I am going to go ahead and declare war on the Socialist Republic of Iran. First off, once again, I'm going to save because fuck, I don't know what's going to happen. And yeah, declare war. Their troops are definitely strong as we have so many troops down here. And their organization and like, they're, they have enough equipment down there, but fuck. Only way I'm holding on right now is because of this shit. Well, this might not have been a good idea, guys. I don't know. Persia seems a little strong. I'm hoping the Egyptians will declare war on them, or they'll declare war on them, because I know they want Iraq, so hopefully they'll end up at war with the rest of the Middle East, because that will definitely help. Now I'm just playing a defensive game. They've already... Whoa! Holy fucking shit. I don't know why, how I caused that much damage on them. I didn't encircle them at all. I mean, hey, I'll take it, but fuck, I didn't think they'd lose that much. Shit. Okay, so... Russia has joined the Third International, but right now, as you can tell, France is getting a little fucked. Mainly due to the fact that the Russians took an extra year just to join the war, even a little bit over. So, hopefully they can start pushing the Reich's pack, since they probably have most of their troops focused over here. But, I don't know, it's not looking too good. And Poland is just sitting there right now. It looks like, I don't know why they're in an alliance with Czechoslovakia, but sure, why the hell not. I'm trying to get steel from the... Uh, Russians, but as of right now, I'm pretty sure they have us embargoed. I don't know where the fuck to find it, but so I'm just trying to improve relationships, uh, relations with them right now, uh, manually, and hopefully we'll be able to trade with them because as of right now, our it is raising. I think we need it to be not in the negatives to trade with them. So hopefully we'll be able to get steel from them. But also good news, Austria's in the war, so hopefully. Third International hopefully will crush them because then that will make getting the Ottomans so much easier, which it is 1941, so we are getting close to being able to declare war on them. And we've been embargoed by the Union of Britain. I don't know why the fuck these guys are embargoing us. It's like, aren't we this? Aren't we allies? <laughs> oh, so, Sultanate of Egypt has declared war on Iran, so it's very, very good for us. They can finally hop off our asses a little bit. And we should be able to take them over. Yep, there, there goes their troops. They're leaving. Oh, I feel so, I feel so bad for them. Fuck, dude. All right. All right. And with that, Tehran is ours. Okay. Wow. That did take a lot longer than I thought of what I thought the Egyptians would have came in sooner, but it's fine. It's over. Let's try to take up as much as we can without pissing off the Egyptians. All right. So we were lucky enough to take all of it. Uh, even though I was trying not to piss off the Egyptians, but hey. So now we're going to go ahead and focus our troops up around the Ottoman Empire. I don't think they have any reason to declare war on us. I pray not that they don't declare war on us. But yeah, shit's about to get crazy. Okay, so with that final state being cored, I'm finally just going to go ahead 
and declare war on the Ottomans because I can't wait much longer. Maybe I m might be able to help out the Third International. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. If I can get a peace deal with the Ottomans, I'm going to go for it because fuck, man. I don't think this is going to go well. So uh, I think I saved already. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and declare war on the Ottomans. We have been pushing pretty well so far. So hopefully it can stay that way. And hopefully we don't get fucking naval invaded else we're fucked. Which maybe I should go ahead and add some naval guards because it's not very smart of me to leave that shit open. <laughs> Looks good, I guess. So. Now, am I going to produce any of these? Probably not. Because first, I don't have any fucking rubber. Second of all, I don't have shit. So... Yeah, I'm just... I'm going to make these, but I don't think I'm going to actually end up using any of them. Okay, so the Raj Authority is capitulated. That's very, very good. Because fuck, man. I, we need the Russians' help. They're like the only competent ally right now. Everyone else fucking sucks. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Okay, so we got a naval invasion. That's great. We're going to try to send these guys up there. Uh, get the rest of these fuckers down here. Oh, yes. Look at all those Ottomans and Italians. I'm so sorry, but you guys asked for it. Like, we finally... 1943, we have hit our first steel mine. Now, granted... We can't core this shit, but this is, like, our first actual steal. Like, this is so fucking insane. Like, how... Like, Kaiser Redux does. Please, just give us some mines over here, man. Look how many mountains we have. You're telling me we can't mine steel here? Fuck, man. Oh my gosh, another... Another naval invasion. I didn't even see this shit. Fuck. Luckily, we got these guys, so we might be able to just take care of them with... Hopefully these troops, even though there's no fucking general, because I don't have any more generals. Because with the purges and shit Stalin did, this is all we fucking have. I'm almost finished with my army doctrine, just one more to go. I will say the front line over here is pretty small, so I might try to see if I can go and push. Just because, like, they have, like, some... I didn't even realize this. Some tiles only have one. So that's actually really good for us. I think they have most of their troops over here. It's actually really good for us. Holy, holy shit. Man, if only I did this sooner. Okay, so Constantinople has fallen. They're about to capitulate, which is very, very good. Okay, finally. The Ottoman Empire has capitulated. Let's try to get rid of the rest of these troops. Because fuck, man... That was fucking hard. We are pushing Hungary too, so that's very, very nice. We might actually be able to capitulate Austria by surprise, because they have all their troops down here and up here. Yeah, wow, wow. They have no troops right here. That's, that's really good. I'm actually going to go on aggressive, because fuck. We need to keep going. Oh my gosh, dude. The fucking naval invasions are fucking insane, dude. There is an opening right here. I'm gonna try to just go ahead and seize Bozan. Or maybe not. Fuck. The AI is only competent when I'm fighting them, which fucking sucks. Alright, yeah, the, the AI is going crazy right now, dude. I better hurry the fuck up before this thing crashes. Guarantee you this game's gonna fucking crash here soon if I don't hurry the fuck up. The Russians are getting pushed down here because they're at war with these Italians. I'm not. So they're regaining all this land down here and it's fucking preventing the Austrians from fucking capitulating. It's fucking bullshit, man. About to click. I'm literally about to declare war on these guys just so I can fucking end this war. Look at that. They have all that shit down there. 
Austrians are so close to capitulating, dude. So fuck. Oh my gosh, dude. Fuck. Okay. That's done. I'm just gonna take whatever the fuck I can, and we'll figure this shit out. Okay. There we have it, guys. Uh, yeah, I pretty much did everything I could do as this country. I really wish the Kaiser Redux devs would have added a focus tree for the Transcaucasian state, where whether you were totalist or whatever ideology. I really wish they added another focus tree once you completed this shit, but it's fine. We're done. Even though we are have been embargoed by every single fucking country to exist, except for, like, the king, and that's it. And we have no fucking resources whatsoever. We were able to survive. We were able to take everything we could. I don't think there's any other territory we can core. Everything here is cored. It's all cored. We might have been able to core the Mountain Republic, but... I mean, the Russians have it now, but before that, they were with the Reich's Pact. And I'm not fighting the Reich's Pact. Fuck that. Yes, this shit's still happening there, but I'm not at war with them. I don't fucking care. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this was a definitely a tough one to do. I thought it was going to be a lot easier, but nope. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what I should play next. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.